Hello guys, I'm here to show you how to correctly find the service part numbers of your uh, HP or compact uh, notebook. As you may know, some uh, have stickers on it that says replace with HP spare number. But to some of you, it's daunting to open the notebook or um, just you don't have any time to do that. To some of you, you may have gone to a computer repair shop and the uh, salesperson had just quoted you a very unreasonable price so you wanted to know how much the cost of the part before you go, uh, you go ahead with the uh, repair but whatever your reason I will teach you the uh, uh, easier way to find the replacement part numbers of any parts inside your uh, HP or compact notebook as you may notice the white sticker that says replace with HP part number is stuck on uh, the surface of module for instance this case I have a motherboard that says uh, a bunch of part numbers there that starts with 44 something usually uh, HP assigns uh, nine numbers on it with a dash 001 as the ending digits but again if you don't have time to open your notebook or if you're not confident to open it then another way to find the part numbers is through the sticker uh, that says SN and PN the SN stands for serial number and the PN stands for product number once you have this information you have to go to HP uh, part surfer it's an HP website uh, dedicated for service parts information then uh, you have to uh, do a quick search okay so I'm gonna go there right now yeah, search for HP parts surfer actually it's already in the cache and um, it says your HP parts surfer I'm gonna click that and select a country which is United States and I have a PN or product number that says EZ let me type it actually it's already here it's a EZ535 UA pound ABA because I've searched this earlier click that and then it will show up the correct model number of your machine um, I'm sorry my internet connection is a little bit slow um, okay there you go and yeah this is my uh, computer HP Pavilion DV5215 US for the part numbers inside that machine let me click this part number under part number Let's say, for instance, I'll be uh, replacing the motherboard of my computer. So I'm going to go to, there's a lot of uh, uh, parts here with uh, uh, different uh, corresponding HP part numbers. Uh, for the motherboard, I will be looking for the line that says PC board, this one here. Uh, under the PC board section, there are two... Uh, part numbers one is 4170211-001 and the description is the system board and the other one is 4170231-001 which is the LED board actually the LED board is the one mm, that is connected to the motherboard uh, via a flat ribbon cable and uh, it houses the power button and uh, also the media uh, uh, pilot lights so I'm not uh, interested with this right now but with the system board if you can see the system board it says full featured in some um, uh, models you may find um, many other uh, part uh, related part numbers here or uh, other part numbers here so just in this case I only have one motherboard listed on this particular model so you may be wondering why you will have uh, different and that is because um, 
it be listed it as one that can uh, fit or that is compatible with your model and if you go to the right section it says original some may have a modified version so if you go if you contact your supplier and then ask for this part number but um, they will uh, tell you that it, this is no longer uh, served or no longer uh, uh, available and they may be uh, giving you a different part number just be sure to get uh, a match which is a full feature type okay so that's about it uh, once you get this uh, I would suggest you uh, go to eBay and then what's that part number I'm sorry run it and see who sells those parts you may have the option to go directly to HP but um, just to to tell you guys HP sells a very high price they're about 200 to 300 percent than the third party uh, supplier okay um, I went to eBay and then click search and then I look for that 41201 and then it says um, uh, free ship from China um, you might want to look for a new condition new condition for instance what is this no hustle good what is it oh this is not the part number I'm looking for the exact part number this, this is the one for $82 um, where is this uh, oh this is in China um, okay so you may have the option to do that but again if uh, sorry if you go to my uh, blog which is www.ifixiteasy.com again that's ifixiteasy.com I listed reliable suppliers whom I use for many years now uh, in the resource page or if you wanna check the particular uh, video that uh, says about this uh, uh, blog here then you will find uh, more information where I, uh, I buy it for some reasons uh, you cannot locate or suppliers have uh, cannot supply you uh, try to shoot me an email send me an email in the contact information section and um, I have a very reliable supplier in China I can give you their uh, directly their email address so that you can communicate directly with them and I tell you guys I've been using them for uh, almost five years uh, I am a reseller myself I sell uh, HP parts I service HP parts but um, um, yeah so um, yeah if if you can uh, ask me uh, through email then uh, I'll be most happy to uh, give you those information again so that's about it um, any if you have any other questions uh, leave me a note uh, on this video or in my blog and uh, I will try my best to answer you uh, please don't forget to subscribe uh, in my uh, YouTube channel or uh, maybe subscribe in my newsletter in my blog so that I can send you some more information tips and tricks uh, on how to fix a notebook and some other um, gadgets directly to your email for free okay thank you for watching this video goodbye guys